Uh, my name is Atal Sarajadini. I'm a professor of astronomy, and I'm also associate dean of research and natural science and mathematics in liberal arts and sciences. So, um, I work in the general area of resolved stellar populations. What that means is that resolved means that we can observe individual stars in nearby stellar systems, star clusters, and our own galaxy, and galaxies that are outside our galaxy, where we can observe individual stars. Now, why is that important? Well, because by studying individual stars, we can apply our knowledge of stars, which actually is quite vast, because we have one in our backyard, it's called the sun, <laughs> right? We understand stars very well. And so by applying our knowledge of stars to um, these kinds of populations in different areas, in different environments, different galaxies, we can understand those galaxies themselves. So for example, we want to understand how old the Milky Way is, our own galaxy. Well, we do that by studying the ages of stars in the Milky Way, and in particular in Milky Way star clusters, uh, globular clusters, and open clusters. And so we can tell that you know, the oldest globular clusters in the Milky Way are about as old as the universe itself. They, are the fir they were the first things formed when the Milky Way was, was coming together um, and, and, and forming itself. Uh, I really got interested in astronomy when I was about in uh, middle school, junior high, got interested in astronomy. I didn't really know that I could do it as a profession. It was a hobby for the most part. Uh, the high school had a telescope that they would loan out to students. Uh, it was nothing fancy, just you know, something basic. And uh, I would check it out, if you will, uh, occasionally take it home for the weekend and use it to look up at various things in the sky, usually the moon, or, or planets or whatever that, that, that were up. At the time also, the primary career path that astronomers followed was to be uh, an academic. So you would be a professor, teach, do research and such in astronomy, and that was sort of the classic route. Um, that is no longer the case. Um, folks who get degrees in astronomy have a multiple uh, a variety of different uh, choices in terms of their career paths. And so when, you know, in my case though, I was pretty much Set that if I wanted to be an astronomer, I would follow the, uh, the academic career path. And, and, so, and you usually travel to far off lands, exotic places, you know, to do your uh, observing. And so I've been down to Kitt Peak National Observatory near Tucson many times. I actually worked there for five years. And, you know, I've been down to Chile at um, Cerro Tololo Inter American Observatory uh, a number of times, about ten times, to get observations for my research. And so those are actually quite special because you get to actually be one-on-one -on -one with the telescope. You know, you're there, the instrument is right there, it's, it's controlled by somebody else, but you at least have control over what the telescope is doing, where it's pointing, what you're using it for in terms of gathering data. Now, the other thing I, I also do a lot of is gather um, observations from the Hubble Space Telescope. So the HST, as it's known, you don't go anywhere to get the data, right? It's obviously in space, right? It's orbiting. Um, but you tell the telescope how to take the data for you, right? There are specific, there's specific language that you use to tell the telescope where to point, how to observe, um, how long to expose, you know, the detector, the camera, and once those instructions are uploaded to the instrument, it does it for you automatically. The the uh, observations are, are downloaded to the ground-based, you know, control center and then they basically send you an email saying your data is ready and then you just you know go and get it and, and bring it to your home computer and start analyzing it so I think that the act of gathering real-life data real-life information is probably one of the more exciting parts you know of my of my field <laughs>